So I watch NCIS, and one of the characters that was on the show, Anthony Dinozo, very special agent Anthony Dinozo, he made a statement, his character, one of his lines, in one of the episodes. He was uh, dating this, this girl, and you know, they hadn't, hadn't gone uh, all the way, I guess you could say. And she wanted to know why. Was something wrong with her? You know, she was kind of thinking, why isn't this guy, you know, making his move? Because they had been seeing each other for a while and whatnot. And Dinozo was kind of a player. He had been a player since he was, you know, a kid. He was a college basketball star. And, you know, he was, he was the, the, the guy that always got the girl and always had game and had the lines and... You know, uh, that sort of thing. I mean, he learned it from his dad. His dad was a real player, and uh, that's all in the series. And anyhow, enough of the backstory there to give you an idea why the statement means so much coming from the character. And that is, he looked at her, and he and she knew his background. She knew that he was a ladies' man and all this other stuff, right? And he said to her, "When you always do." what you've always done you're always going to get what you've always got now what he was trying to tell her was I'm taking it slow with you and I'm not rushing things because I actually want a relationship with you you're not a one night stand you're not just this short term fling and then I'm going to just move on to the next one I'm, I'm not playing you at all I really really like you and I really want to see where this goes and I, I, she understood that you could tell by the expression on the actress's face, on the character's face, that she understood what he said. That's what it meant. But that statement can apply to a lot of things for a lot of people in life. It isn't just about wanting something better. It's about knowing the difference. You see, there are people in this world who make mistakes. They make poor choices. And they pay a penalty for it or they pawn off that penalty on someone else and make it someone else's problem which is even worse but despite despite uh, the lesson that they should be learning from making that poor choice from making that mistake they go on and they continue making the same mistake over and over again they keep making poor choices one right after the other right after the other sometimes they make a poor choice in order to fix a poor choice or to cover up a poor choice and they just made it worse and it's not a good way to live well some people continue to do that throughout their life and they just no matter who sets them down and has a serious adult conversation with them and tells them the truth about what they're doing they don't care they're going to just keep on making... Sometimes they'll even say to your face, I know, I, and then they go right back to doing it all over again. Now, sometimes they get angry and defensive because they can't handle criticism. There are all these weak people in this world who just cannot handle criticism. Get over yourself, would you? Sometimes it is because somebody is trying to insult you. Sometimes it is because somebody doesn't understand you and they're, they're attacking your character or whatever. And then other times people are just trying to tell you what you won't what no one else will tell you or they're trying to tell you what you don't see or don't want to believe for yourself they're trying to help getting defensive isn't going to do anything about it and there are so many people in this world that are so afraid of hurting feelings or they're just oh we've got to support them and we've got to be positive and all you do is encourage this person to keep making poor choices keep making mistakes you feed that entitlement that they feel when they think somebody else should should take care of it for them instead of them taking care of it themselves and and really learning that lesson not just from the the, the standpoint of suffering but all of the work it's going to take to fix or mitigate the problem that they created the problem that they brought on themselves so you're not helping them out by being positive and 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 trying to be supportive and and taking care of the problem for them and stuff no they need to learn the hard it's like tough love if you've never been a parent 
It's very difficult to watch your child fail, to watch them fall, to watch them get hurt. I don't necessarily mean physically, but I mean to let your child go through that and to be able to say, I'm doing the right thing as a parent. I'm doing the right thing. I'm, I'm, I'm supporting my child by letting them learn a tough lesson. And that's tough love. And it's very difficult to do as a parent. I'm sure that it's difficult still when your children become adults. It's difficult to do as, as, a, as a close friend, as a best friend, as, as, as somebody that's really close to someone else to let them learn but that's the only way they're going to break this cycle of bad choice after bad choice after bad choice. If you always do what you've always done, you're always gonna get what you've always got. So if I ever seem to be tough on somebody, I don't seem to be sympathetic, I don't seem to be supportive enough, positive enough or whatever, it's because I'm that person that will kick you in your butt when no one else will, because that's really what you need. Because nobody kicks you in your butt and you're just going to keep making those poor choices. And what makes it worse, like I said in the beginning, is when you dump the responsibility of fixing your poor choice on me. How is it my problem? I've got enough of my own problems and I fix them myself. If you want something from me, I'm going to give you advice, but it's going to be tough advice. And you may not like me after you hear it, but it's something you need to hear.